question 19 we have spheres of mass 0.6 and 0.8 they're on a string 0.5 long and let's straight away just get this distance in here this x distance that is going to be down to that point here and then we'll be able to find what this height here is taking it away from 0.5 so with a and h so the cos of 60 is equal to x over 0.5 so the cos of 60 is a half, a half times a half is a quarter, so x is equal to 0 0.25. So this height is also 0 0.25, just add up to 0 0.5. So we can get that straight away. That'll help us, it looks like kinetic energy and potential energy going on here. We're looking for the speed of the 0 0.6 just before the collision. So that's before anything kind of happens. So we have this system of potential energy and kinetic energy before which will be equal to the potential energy and kinetic energy afterwards now at the top the speed of the kinetic energy mv squared is zero it's released from s and afterwards the potential energy is going to have a height of zero down here at the bottom so that will be zero two so we'd be able to just say the initial potential energy this mgh will be equal to the initial or the speed the kinetic energy which will be a half mv squared which will be the kinetic energy afterwards so we have the mass 0 0.6 times g, we leave it as g, I think. 0 0.6 times g times h, 0.25. That's a quarter of 0 0.6, which is 0 0.15 g. That has to be equal to, well, they're all decimals here, 0 0.5 times m, 0 0.6, and a half of 0 0.6 is 0 0.3 times v squared, 0 0.3 v squared. So v squared is equal to 0.15 g over 0.3. Looks like 1 over 2. So v squared is equal to g over 2. So v is equal to the square root of g over 2 meters per second just before impact. So the velocity, I think I might decimalize it. 1, no, 2. 2. Point two and it's 2.21359 i'm just going to take 2.2 i think i tried to do it with the g over two it's a bit messy so we've now got a before and after situation and we're looking for the speed of each sphere just after the collision so we have our 0 0.6 and our 0 0.8 we have the 0 0.6 is traveling at 2.2 .2. the 0 0.8 is at rest all the speeds after p and q so just using our equations we're going to get p minus q over 2.2 .2 minus 0 is equal to minus e not told anything about e here but we actually have to be don't we here it is up here didn't read the question should have read the question minus 1 over 11 so we're going to get 11p minus 11q is equal to minus 2.2 .2. now 5 2.2s is 11 so i could divide by 2.2 .2 to get may help so you have 5p minus 5q is equal to minus 1. so my other equation 0 0.6 by 2.2 .2 plus 0 0.8 times 0 so I'll just write 0 is equal to 0 0.6p plus 0.8q so 0 0.6 by 2.2 .2 is 132 so 1.32 is equal to 0 0.6p plus 0.8q now none of them go up to 5 so what am I going to have to do here let me see so if I multiply this one by 6.25, dividing 5 by 0 0.8 to figure out how we can cancel the Qs, I'm going to get 8.25 is equal to 3.75p plus 5q. I'm bringing this one across. I'm going to get minus 1 is equal to 
5p minus 5q. Adding these two lines, I'm going to get 7.25 is equal to 8.75p, giving me a value for p of 9.83. If I round it off, 9.83. Sorry, not four. It's coming up at 8828. So 83. And p is equal to 9.83. Five times 9.83 minus 5q equals minus 1 so 5q is equal to 5 times 9.83 plus 1 so i have to divide the whole thing by 5 to get q and type in that into a calculator i get q is equal to 1.03 and these are speeds so meters per second meters per second